Hi, Jeff Cote with Pacific Yacht Systems. Here we are today at the Vancouver International Boat Show in 2019, and here are you looking at our little demo to demonstrate the value of a Firefly battery in comparison to AGM batteries. These are great batteries, North Star batteries. We also do rolls. Uh, there's a lot of good selection in AGM batteries, and here we have really good, reputable uh, flooded lead acid. All these batteries are actually the same size. Um, they're all Group 31 batteries. And um, the way we made this is to sort of show visually what are the differences between the batteries and how many batteries do you need to do the same thing. So let's start with a flooded lead acid battery. Uh, for some of you that have been watching a lot of my videos or read my articles on Pacific Yachting or even Northwest Yachting, we write monthly columns in both of them. <clears throat> or even on our, YouTube, on our website, we've got thousands of content Right, a lot about batteries. Batteries are the heart of your DC system on your boat. So you've got to pay attention when you make the selection to make sure what's the right battery with you. So let's go here and let's talk about these batteries right here. These batteries are flooded acid batteries. You can see actually they're serviceable. These are deep cycle, group 31 batteries. Um, and when you think about a flooded lead acid battery, you've got to realize yet the depth of discharge should never be about below 50%. And we also know that when you're cruising, bulk charging is gonna stop around 80, 85%. So really when you're out boating day to day from anchorage to anchorage to anchorage, you're really only recharging your batteries what is called between the floor, which is 50, and the ceiling, which is 85%. So that a third of the battery is usable here. On an AGM battery, you can go deeper a little bit on the depth of discharge. You could choose to bring your battery down to 30% of uh, capacity. Right, so go from 100 all the way to 30, but because this is a lead acid battery as well, the ceiling is around 80, 85. So on this battery, you only have about 55% of usable battery capacity. Now let's look at the Firefly. The Firefly battery can go all the way down to 20% depth of discharge, right? And that battery, again, the ceiling is around 85%. So if you do the comparisons, you're talking about 35% usable for flooded lead acid, right? 55% usable for AGM, and for a foam-based core AGM battery, because they're all lead-acid batteries, you're looking at 65%. So when you're making your purchase decision, the amount of usable amp-hour capacity from each battery, you can literally buy three of these, or you can buy six of these, and at the end, you're gonna have the same amount of usable battery capacity. So think about this, right? When you're making a decision, you can either save space and wait on your boat by going with Firefly or AGM, because if you want, you could go with an AGM bank and you can, instead of putting six flooded, you can put four AGM batteries. And that deeper depth of discharge can translate to two things. Get away with less batteries to do the same amount of work. Or on some boats, and I see this all the time, people are saying to me, Jeff, I have a limited amount of space on my boat. I cannot add more batteries. I want to, but I can't. What can you do for me to give me more power on my boat? with the existing space I have. I don't have space to add more. Well, this is where you as a boat owner can consider, wait a second, I remember Jeff saying to me, I can have more depth of discharge on an AGM or a Firefly battery. So we have boaters that have limited space, want more battery capacity, so maybe they had six flooded lead acid. We're gonna replace it with six Group 31s, but that means that they've effectively doubled their usable battery capacity. So Firefly batteries, have more energy density that are usable. And that is why it's worth considering Firefly batteries. Above and beyond the fact that they have higher number of cycles, we're talking about 3,600 cycles at 50% depth of discharge, or 1,200 cycles at 20%. So you go all the way from 100 all the way to 20, and you have 1,200 cycles with this battery. And it can live in a partial state of discharge without affecting solvation as much as an AGM battery or a flooded lead acid battery. So, you know, it's not to say this is a battery for everyone. There's no such thing as one size fits all for boats. You have to, as a boat owner, figure out what's your horizon with the boat? How long are you gonna keep the boat? What are you doing with the boat? Are you going offshore? Are you going anchorage to anchorage a lot? What are your power requirements? But I always say to boaters, it's worthwhile doing your homework, figuring out which battery is right for you. And that's why here at Pacific Yacht Systems, we sell all three. I'm not saying one is better than the other. It really depends on you as a boater, what you're doing with your boat. So if you've got more questions about Fireflies, we've got a whole section on Firefly batteries, videos, articles. I've written multiple Tech Talk columns. You can find them in HTML or a PDF content. 
all on our website to help you make a decision and also even more videos that talk about the benefits of a Firefly battery in comparison to an AGM or even a flooded lead acid battery. So thanks for being here at the Vancouver International Boat Show on YouTube and uh, I appreciate you uh, joining us. Thanks.